And we're back to what is probably the final episode of Night in the Woods. Yeah, this is it. This will do it. Man, we've come a long way. How bittersweet it is. <laughs> All right, just a oh. snack dog. What? There's a spinny thingy on top of the diner. Is there a way to get up there? Oh, there is. It might be a leap of faith, but I think I can do it. Hmm. Might be a little late now, though. Yeah, I was wondering, we might have missed our chance by uh, not ju jumping off the music station or whatever it is there. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't get up yeah. there. Yeah, and you can't go to the left and there's nothing there, right? I think yeah. we... Oh, wait, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see it. Sorry, everyone, this takes priority. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be new e another episode because of this little side adventure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, now we gotta play the whole game over again to see what this was all about. Yeah. Damn it. You got all excited and now your platform is destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be from here, because I can't. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, shit. Wait a second. No, okay. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. I got to land perfectly on that lamp. Yeah. And then I can jump from there. I'll give it like three attempts. Yep. And then you'll just leave us hanging forever. Yeah, unfortunately, that's life. You don't get all the answers. <laughs> Encouraging people to play this game, because more people need to play it. Yes. Obviously, there's plenty of reason. Like hanging it with Greg and uh, Angus, for example. You might just need to jump from like the very pixel edge. Of yeah, that, I guess. I was trying to go for the triple jump on that small plane. It, it, it kind of doesn't let you. I think it's <laughs> kind of like, like you're kind of like just barely balancing on it. So uh, I don't know if you can do a triple jump. So I need to go for as close as possible. Yeah. I can land on it, but I'll slide off it. Oh, does it just slide right off? Yeah, I have to like be quick on the jump button. Oh, I see. Okay. Last attempt, everyone. I swear. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, solve this mystery on your own. Yeah. You know, you know where to go where to go. Make it happen. You watch I can jump on the trash can and run on top here. <laughs> ah, too good to be true. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh. Nope, okay. Okay, I said one last attempt, but I. <laughs> <laughs> this I is gonna bother me. I knew this was coming. <laughs> If there's a jump cut here, you know why. Yep. Oh go. my god. And you did it. Yeah, haha, -ha, you found it. Well, okay. <laughs> yep, that was that. Was that worth everyone's time? I hope it was. Now I gotta go back and find out who that, that activated. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to everyone. I, it could be something in the credits. I really don't know. I, I, if, I, if I knew at one point, I'd totally forgotten. But that's where they are. 
Comment down below if you know what that did. <laughs> Don't leave us in suspense. I really want to know. Yep. So what's that, Greg? I'm going to check your store. So, Greg, I unlocked a weather thing. Really Be super hype about me. Yeah. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well to you, too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? A few band practice? I think we got everything, so yeah. Yep. God, this door just, just does not like to open. That's worse in the summer. Oh wow, there's a pentagram on this sticker. I can't read the band name on it. Cop Striller? I guarantee you it's not Cop Striller. Maybe it's like German band with a name in English. Sounds like that. Guten Tag, we are Cop Striller. <laughs> Off then, Durson. Close enough. Oh well, yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move it and change, and meet new people, and become new people, I think Angus is going to find He's got more options. Jeez, you fucked the set. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I'm, uh, good? Really? I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just like, stuck in neutral. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the whole world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yup. So like, I'm a little confused about what even happened. The whole Cosmic Core thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the, uh, the ads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And when the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was, it's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <sighs> yeah. God, I can't even wrap my head around these past two weeks. I think that's pretty understandable, May. The world is extremely messed up, huh? Yes, yes it is. Uh, failed state? K. 
getting pretty close. My granddad, before he died, his last words were like, this house is haunted. Okay, that's spooky. Was he in your house? No, he was like looking out the window at the hospital. But I think I get what he meant. This whole place. The other day I ran into these three weird teens. Actually, wait, you met them too. I was there too. <laughs> at the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, the ones that tortured you. Yeah, them. They told me I'd see a bunch of pentagrams and it, like, aved me. I think they're witches. And then it actually happened. How so? I don't know. I saw the last of them in the tunnel last night. From, like, the support beams. When I saw it, it reminded me of something. Didn't really register until this morning. Remember Adina and the Frozen Lake? The folktale. I think it's called Adina and the Forest God. Whatever. Remember how there was, like, a dead astronomer? Who was like a reflection in the ice? Yeah. Uh, looking for a star you could only see when you're dead. The ghost star. My mom had a ghost star tattoo. Anyway, like, you're looking at a reflection of a star from below? It's gonna look kind of like a pentagram. That's true. Woke up this morning and was like, oh wow. I feel like I found my ghost star. And then lived. And this is because of teen witches? I just see, I thought that was dumb, but... I met Germ's grandma. What? Yeah, I went to his house. What's it like? Uh, it's nice. Double wide with a finished basement. Got a trampoline. Ugh, that's one of those things makes me sick. Anyways, Grandma told my fortune, sort of. Holy shit. What was your fortune? Well, she said some pretty shitty things about my whole, you know, head thing. Ah. But otherwise, it was kind of vaguely what happened last night. Wow. Yeah, see... So, I'm like thinking maybe she's a witch, too? Not like an actual witch, but the teens aren't real witches either. So. There's this other kid, Lori M. We've been hanging out. You just hang with teens all over the place these days. Hush. I'm a, I'm a role model. <laughs> oh, well then. Lori does this thing where she puts little metal dudes on the train tracks. Oh, and the train squishes them. That's so cool. Yeah, she's great. I don't know. It is just me not being a kid anymore. But watching her do that, open her little, opening her little bag, and pulling out those things, and then using actual trains, making little monsters, I came to the only logical conclusion. Witch. Well, Jime, you seem to be just swimming in witches. Hey, listen, you can be one, too. I can see it. Oh, God, I wish. I have some hexes to hand out. And, I mean, obviously I can't as a witch. I'm, like, spooky magic and all that, all the way. Of course. I don't know. Last night, today, everything is extremely bad here right now. Everything is bad in the world. Guys, last night... They're like ghosts in an old mansion. Don't know they're dead. Just stalking around and killing whoever moves in. Like Granddad said, it's haunted. But there's a lot of witches in it. And that makes me feel a tiny bit better. So the entire Rust Belt is just lousy with ghosts and witches. Yeah, but not all ghosts are bad. Like, I mean, uh... I don't really know where I'm going with this, but it's been a long week. 
It's fine. So, have you had any new uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah. How did you know that? I heard there's some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just going to be more of them. Hope springs. Rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive really far? May, do you know anything of what? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? At west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. Aw. I mean, we're trapped here together. We might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, maybe. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! <laughs> I think God already has. There they are! Hey guys! Sup, nerds! <laughs> it's you who are the nerds. What? <laughs> Jeez, we've never been so insulted. Take it back right now, dork. Fat chance. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like... Parents. No. How are we going to explain that? So, yeah, we went down f into a hole in the mine and found out your son's down there. Sacrificed to an uh, elder god by a conservative dad cult. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an honest person. <laughs> Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough. No, you're right. The truth is insane. <laughs> so, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in, in general. Can we pay back this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer for me. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> Finally, you admit it. You owe me like five bucks. That's a bet. No, it's like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now, I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on. And when to let go. 
Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second, then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, man. Song and pizza. Yeah, good enough. Boom. And that is Night in the Woods. Truly fantastic. You can see why it's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> no argument here. Music is amazing in this game. Yeah. And character design. Yes. <laughs> Just love it. <laughs> the, the art and character design are perfect. Yes. Story's super cool, gets real, gets out there in all the best ways. I like that it doesn't start right as a horror. Yes. <laughs> and it doesn't really go really deep into horror. Yeah, it, it touches on <laughs> Eldritch Horror as almost like a metaphor of the world rot in general. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> See, I think there's an ending scene to this. I think so. Yeah. We'll send it through, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. No. <laughs> And neither are you guys. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm allowed to skip ahead. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I got this first and then I told you guys to get it. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, I heard about it and heard good things and then when you were really positive on it, I had to get it because you said some magic words to me about some of the things in it. And I was like, yeah, alright. <laughs> I think I got you, Cody, and I think Dave even got in on it. Yeah. I got Billy on it, but it wasn't for him. No. It is very much in my alley, so yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl. <laughs> and R.I.P. Casey. We're off to see the world, or at least the, the western states. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, that's it. <laughs> that's the end of it. Yep, start new game. You don't get to keep your save. No. <laughs> Why would you, though? Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but with that, though, that's it for Night in the Woods. To to next week we'll have a new project for you yeah it has truly been a pleasure thank you very very much if you stuck it out this far yes love this game and uh i'm so happy i got to play this for the channel at least yeah i hope our passion came through because this thing is very special to us it is <laughs> and i feel like we still didn't get everything yeah i tried my best i think to get everything we could. Obviously, you could have done a beat, uh, Greg run. Yes. And that's hilariously fun, too. Yep, there's an Angus scene we could have done. Um, yeah. yeah, just a few This game warrants a few playthroughs. It really does. So, go check it out for yourself. It's been out for how long now? I guess probably uh, almost... 20 years. What? No, uh, <laughs> 10 years. No, almost 5 years at this five point. 5 years. It was 2017. Oh, 2017. Yeah. Oh, it's 2013 or something. Like nope. Nope. So, yeah. It's, it's five years, I think, we're long due for another game in this style from the wonderful folks at Infinite Fall. But until next time, have a good one, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>